Hemm postijiet li jispikkaw u hemm oħrajn mistħija umli imgerrxa u saħan sitra minn zija. Dawn tal-aħħar aktar x'li huma aktar interessanti għax jirrakkontaw narrattivi li huma inqas magħrufa, inqas ovji. Jirrakkontaw ġrajjiet li jikkonfrontaw l-immaġinazzjoni, jispiraw in-nies permezz tal-ħsejjes u l-immaġni ta' dak li ma jgħidux u li xi darba kienu jgħidu. Id-dekadenza ta' post qed jaqa' biċċiet hija xida oħra li xi darba kien hemm il-ħajja. Ir-realtà ta' diversi nies narrattivi differenti. Forgotten Landscapes i l-ewwel wirja multimedjali minn sensiela li tinkludi arti fiziva, fotografija u films, kif ukoll publikazzjonijiet. Din il-wirja tfittex li taqqat l-arti u l-istorja biex tikxef il-narrativi ta' strutturi u postijiet abbandonati f-Malta. Mark Magro, welcome to our show, Maltarti. Pleasure. Let's start, let's go right into it, shall we? Forgotten sure. Landscapes. Yes. How was this concept conceived? Um, Forgotten Landscapes was a project and I started quite a while ago, uh, almost 10 years ago, uh, in Canada. Uh, basically, I just finished film school in Toronto and uh, I wanted to combine my talents in history, computers and uh, film. So I developed my production company, Wanton Media, and I started doing historical documentaries on abandoned locations in Canada. So I produced three documentaries on abandoned locations, and the goal was to use these documentaries to create a television series on forgotten abandoned locations, not just in Canada, but all over the world. Um, and since that time, I've been trying to pitch to TV stations to try to redevelop the project and I ended up moving to Malta because my parents are Maltese and I love the Maltese uh, culture and so I've been living here and I decided to morph the project into more of a Maltese type of focused uh, project so I selected four abandoned locations in Malta and uh, instead of just doing a straight historical documentary a desire to use all the mediums of art. So I wanted to incorporate uh, artists to do paintings on these locations. I wanted to incorporate film, photography, and uh, historical research. So basically the project is to tell the story of four abandoned locations in Malta, um, using painters to paint on location, using film, using photography and using uh, historical research to produce um, a book, an exhibit, which is going to be shown here, and um, photography. So basically what we're talking about is a multimedia experience here at Spazio Creative at St. St. James Cavalier. Um, but Obviously, there's this element of history yes. you know, involved. Now, when one thinks of history, well, especially for us Maltese, I yes. don't know if that happens to you no, as well right, with, yes. with Maltese roots, is that one thinks of buildings that are pretty old yes. and date back hundreds or thousands of years. Yes. Not this case, is it? Well, um, each location that I selected, they're, they're in different periods of time. Um, and what's even more fascinating about these places is that they're a morph between different eras because of, of course over time people added to it and then abandoned it. So there's different layers of abandonment with these places. And when you look into these layers and you look into the story of it, that's fascinating. And yes, uh, I love the Maltese history. And uh, that actually what got me interested in, in studying history and, because when I was in Canada, I studied history. And one of my main influences was the Maltese culture because uh, I think it's a beautiful story, the Maltese story.
I can imagine how relatively easy it is for a movie maker to achieve that sense of times gone by in yes. an abandoned place. Yes. We've seen it done many times, I guess, on movies like, I don't know, let, I'm using Titanic as an example, and you can make it, bring it alive, no? Yes. Because you, you're building a set and yes. you're recreating. How does one that do it with, a, with an artist, though, and with an exhibit? Yes, well, um, the goal for me for this is to um, invoke emotions of these places um, and try to have some sort of story that links these places together. Um, it's not a traditional film format that you watch <clears throat> in the theater. It's more of a, um, an experience. Mm -hmm. So when you go into these places uh, and you look at the exhibit, you, th what I'm trying to achieve is to get the sense of um, curiosity uh, and uh, to try to explain the story of these places in an emotional way, not just straight historical, not just some sort of story that that fictional. It's uh, it's sort of a fusion of everything, if if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah. So a series of emotions yes. for the viewer, yes, and not necessarily it being strictly related to history. I'm assuming, no. right? But it is a big part of it, mm -hmm. yes. Abandoned places usually give me an eerie sort of uh, sensation. Yes. Uh, is this what artists are experiencing? Um, or No, no. Um, some people experience nostalgia, mm -hmm. uh, a need to, I wonder what it was like back then, what these structures saw over time. That's what I, I find beautiful. It's not just the, of course, the creepy elements of these places do play a big part of it. Yeah, they creep in, don't they? <laughs> but to, but in, in my eyes, what I see is when I look at these places and when I see, I try to imagine what these structures saw over time. And it's amazing to, to see that these structures stood over so many generations of change mm -hmm. in Malta and across the world. And I think it tells us a lot about how we developed, how we regressed as a species, you know what I mean? Which were the locations chosen and why did you choose them? Sure, um, so the cho uh, locations chosen was Jerma Palace, um, the White Tower in Maliha, uh, the Enjarjini pumping station, um, and uh, these, uh, and Fort Campbell in Maliha. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all sort of connected to water, they're all near water. Um, and uh, I selected these locations primarily because of the research available, uh, the beauty of the location, and its different periods in time. Excellent. Mark, all we need to do is just yes. tell our viewers when this uh, exhibition is happening and we'll sure. let them come yes. and go through the emotions. <laughs> <laughs> so the exhibit is the Foreground and Landscapes exhibit. It's going to be shown here at the St. James in Space A, mm -hmm. which is over here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be shown, the premiere is going to be shown on February 17th, 16th at 7 p.m. until April 2nd. So it's about a month. So yes. Mark, thank you very much. Pleasure. And all thank the best. You. Thanks. Darim wa'a ta Anton Butijic. Manaichin pal boloh li kellek kul leila, johorju le hires, johorju le ruih, iduru malk mamarim wa'a mudlama jitolbu la inuna, jitolbu l mustrih. Manaich in li fkennek, fithanek in melaha, fiyanek ma'luwa miksija haziz, em anja ta alp li tidbekka mijua, għat-telfa ta' kollox li kella għaziz. Sew, sew, kif ġoqal bi em għanja u l-fiqa ta' dar li waqet u saret tiġrif u tilfet il-ozza ta' dak li kien fiqa u saret borċ herba minna jimma ta' fkif.